hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful hard stitch skirt so so many people know this from our valentine's collection we already have sleeves we have a bralette we have so many projects that you can try out and i'll be showing all of them on the screen we already have written patterns for all these designs as well so if you prefer the written pattern they are already available on all my online shops so today we're going to learn how to make the skirt and for this you will need yarn the yarn that i'm using is milk cotton and i needed about just over two balls approximately two balls and each ball is about 150 yards so basically 300 yards to 400 yards should be enough to make the full skirt because this is a mini version as you saw at the beginning of the video and then you also need a five millimeter crochet hook and then a measuring tape to take your hip measurement that's the measurement that we are going to be considering for this project your hip circumference and then a pair of scissors and i think that's basically it and then you also need an elastic strand that is optional because for me i went with the approach of a drawstring but if you don't like the look of this then you need to have an elastic strand that you'll be putting around your waistband in order to make it um, more well fitted around the waist. So I went ahead to make a matching bralette. We already have a tutorial of this as well. And I just decided to make something that matches the same color as the skirt. And this is how it came out. These are some of the images of my model wearing the full set and yeah so let's get started and learn how to make this piece that can be matched up with our bralette as well as our tank top as well as the um, cropped sleeves so this design is very versatile and you can wear it in any way that you want so let's get started So just like any other hat designs, if you guys have given them a try, I'm going to first demonstrate the stitch and then we shall come back and work the big panels. We're going to first learn how to make the stitch with a different color and then later on we shall come back to the actual skirt and I'll be demonstrating how to turn the stitch into this beautiful skirt. You're going to start off with a slip knot. And you're going to make a chain that is a multiple of 16 plus 4 chains. So for my demonstration, I will do a total of 32 chains, which is a multiple of 16 plus 4 chains, which is a total of 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So this is my multiple of 16 plus 4 chains. Now, once you get that, uh, the foundation chain right, you're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook. So counting from this one, one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to place a double crochet. Just like that. And then from here, you're going to make a chain of three. Skip over four chains, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth chain, you're going to place one double crochet. So we've skipped over four chains and then you're going to place one double crochet in each of the next six stitches two three four five and six and this will bring us to a total of seven double crochets as you can see here one two three four five six and seven so from there, you're going to make a chain of three. Skip over four chains, one, two, three, four, and into the next chain, which is the fifth chain, you're going to place a total of three double crochets. One, two, 
and three all in the same chain just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three and skip over four chains and into the next seven chains you're going to place one double crochet into each one two three four five six and seven so you're going to repeat that chain three three double uh, skip over four chains three double crochets into the next chain chain three skip over four chains one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches so you're going to repeat that until you have a total of five chains left as you can see here and you should end on seven double crochets and then be left with um five chains at the end of the row from here you're going to make a chain of three skip over four chains one two three four and into the fifth chain which should be the very final chain you're going to place two double crochets there one and two just like that so you can see we started off with a chain of three and one double crochet which counts as two double crochets and then we've ended with two double crochets into the very final chain so let's go on to row two for row two you're going to make a chain of three which counts as a double crochet turn your work two double crochets into the next stitch one and two then from here you're going to make a chain of three and then into the next four stitches we are going to make four double crochets together into the next four double crochets so starting with this one you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the first chain of the seven pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so you don't finish your double crochet and then yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you're left with three three loops on your hook and then yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you'll have five loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you'll be left with four loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you'll have six loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you'll have five loops on your hook and once you have five loops you're going to yarn over and pull through all the five that's how we do four double crochets together and then you're going to make a chain of five so on this group of seven double crochets you should be left with one two and three stitches but we are going to do four double crochets together starting with this stitch that has the very last double crochet in this batch so yarn over insert your hook into that stitch that has the last double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we are doing the same exact thing as what we did for the previous four double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the final stitch of the seven pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then you have five loops left on your hook and yarn over pull through all and then from here you're going to make a chain of three one two and three and then we are going to increase the three double crochets here into five by placing two double crochets in the very first stitch one double crochet into the middle stitch and two double crochets into the third stitch which is the final stitch of the three stitches so we've increased from three to five and then you're going to make a chain of three and repeat what we did here the four double crochets together stitches so after your chain of three yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then 
repeat until you have four double crochets together just watch what i'm doing or if you don't remember what to do just rewind the video and watch this part because i explained it in detail then yarn over pull through all then you're going to make a chain of three sorry chain of five not three chain five and then four double crochets together starting with the stitch with the very final double crochet of the previous batch so all right now we've done our four double crochets together and you should see the resemblance between this part and this part they should look the same then from here you're going to make a chain of three two double crochets into the next double crochet and then one double crochet on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row just like that so row two is basically done so let's go on to row three row three you're going to make a chain of three turn your work one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch chain three and then you're going to go into the middle stitch of the next chain five space sorry of the middle chain of the next chain five so this one is the chain five you're going to skip over all this and go into the third chain of the chain five and you're going to place a total of three double crochets into that middle chain just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three skip over all this and then go into the five double crochets we are going to increase the five to seven by placing two double crochets on the edge stitches so two double crochets into the first stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so you're just going to place one double crochet until you have one stitch left and then into the very last stitch which is this one you're going to place two double crochets all right so we've increased the five double crochets to seven double crochets then from here you're going to make a chain of three skip over all this and then go into the middle uh, chain of the five the chain five and you're going to place three double crochets into that middle chain just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to skip over all this and go into the last stitches placing one double crochet in each of them and you should end with three double crochets on the edge just like we have at the beginning of the row so let's go on to row four row four is going to start with a chain of three turn your work one double crochet into the next double crochet make a chain of three and then increase the next three stitches into five and by now you should be knowing how to increase you place two double crochets on the edge then one double crochet into the middle stitches so this is the edge stitch so it will get two double crochets so that way we've increased three double crochets to five double crochets and then from here you're going to make a chain of three and we are going to do our four double crochet together stitches so yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and repeat until you have joined four double crochets together make a chain of five yarn over go into the very first stitch this one that has the last stitch of the previous four double crochet together stitch and you're going to place four double crochets together 
in each of the next stitches okay now we've joined the four double crochets together yarn over pull through all chain three increase the next three double crochets to five double crochets and by now you know how to do that then from here you can see how the full hat looks like at this point we formed our very first full hat so after this you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to skip over one stitch and into the next stitch you're going to place one double crochet and then into the top of the chain three on the edge you're going to place one double crochet just to mirror exactly what we have at the beginning of the row okay so let's go on to the next row uh, which will be row five you're going to start off with a chain of six turn your work and you're going to skip over all this and go into the five double crochets and increase the five double crochets to seven double crochets okay after this you're going to make a chain of three go into the middle chain of the chain five and place three double crochets chain three increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets and after this you're going to make a chain of three skip over the next chain three space skip the next stitch and into the edge stitch which is the chain three you're going to go on top of the chain three and place a double crochet and this is what you should have now we're going on to row six for row six you're going to make a chain of three turn your work you're going to place Two double crochets into the very first stitch to make a total of three double crochets chain three make four double crochets together and by now you should be knowing how to do this chain five and then four double crochets together just like this and then from here you're going to make a chain of three and increase the next three stitches to five chain three we're going to do the four double crochets together stitches so you should see the hearts forming so after your chain of three four double crochets together chain five Four double crochets together don't forget we always start with this stitch that has the last stitch of the previous four double crochet together stitch all 
all right chain three skip over three chains and into the fourth you're going to place three double crochets one two and three so i want to show you a few things at this point row six should basically look the same as row two if you're to look at row six it's the same exact thing that we did for row two so when you reach row five you're going to repeat rows two to five that's the repeat of this pattern rows two to five until you have the length of the panel that you want to to demonstrate or to make for your piece so this is how this stitch is worked it can grow as big as this or even longer you can work it in panels all right guys so um this is a demonstration now that we know how to make the stitch you're going to decide whether to work in two separate panels which is my approach or you're going to work in one big panel that's going to be folded over let me say this is the panel that you're going to work with and then you will fold it over later on to create a circular kind of panel something like this and it will form a skirt so whichever approach that you choose to use just make a chain that is a multiple of 16 plus 4 for me i'm going to work in two panels that i'm going to join in the sides so whichever approach that you choose to use both of them are perfectly fine you can choose any of the two and they'll give you the same exact result the difference is if you decide to work in two panels you will have two seam lines one on this side and one on this side but if you decide to work in one big panel you will have only one seam line at the back of your skirt just like this and the front won't have any seam line as well as the sides so uh, for me my approach is two panels so you're going to make a chain that can if you decide to use two panels just like me uh, you're going to make a chain that is half of your hip circumference when slightly stretched and you're going to start working your stitch um, back and forth just like i explained in the earlier video and then you get the length of the panel that you want and then uh, chain one and cut your yarn and then repeat the same exact process for the second panel if you decide to take approach two which is um, one big panel then you're going to make a chain that can slightly stretch to your hip circumference the full hip circumference and then you will start working the stitch back and forth until you get the panel that you need so choose your approach and let's get going all right, so I ended up doing a total of 16 rows. So every full hat has a total of four rows. And if we are to count in this row, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And six times four is 16. So I have a total of 16 rows for my uh, back panel or front panel because we are going to do the same exact thing for um both the panels so once you finish here you're going to chain one and leave a long strand for attaching and you should make sure you end on a row that looks like row four row four is the one that starts and ends with two double crochets on the edge so we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for our second panel you're going to have two panels that look exactly the same sorry you're going to have two panels that look exactly the same same size same length and you can see we also have one two three four five and six full hats and each hat is four rows so six times four is equal to 16 so we have 16 rows for both panels or you can go ahead and grow your panel as long as you want your skirt to be so um from there, you're going to make a chain of one as well on your second panel and leave a long strand for attaching. So you just make a chain of one and pull through that long strand. So we're going to place our two panels in a way that 
um, the strands that we've left behind are on opposite sides. So you can see one of the strands is on this side and one of the strands is on this side. And you should make sure that your hearts are facing up or the same exact direction. So this is what we have for our first panel and then the second panel. But the ends that we leave behind are on opposite sides. So what we are going to do right now is to start attaching to form the skirt. And to do that, you're going to go into each and every row with two single crochets. Each and every row with two single crochets. All the way across or all the way down your panels. So this is going to form the skirt or the tube-like shape of the skirt and then we shall come to the waistband later on. So just go all the way down placing two single crochets in each and every row. So at this point, if you want to create slits, this is your chance to eliminate some of the rows so that you can create side slits for your skirt. All right, so I'm placing my last two single crochets into the very last row. And I'm not going to create slits on the sides of my skirt. So I'll attach all the way to the base of the skirt and make a chain of one and cut my yarn. So let's see what we have. Um, we have our seam line on the side of the skirt. And then when we turn our work onto the right side, this is exactly what we have. We have the seam line but a little bit on the neater side when it comes to the right side of the skirt. So you're going to fold over your work still on the wrong side and then you're going to join the two sides on this side as well, on the opposite side just like we've done here. So we are going to go all the way across using the tail that we left behind for our second panel. All right, so when you make it all the way down on your second side, you're still going to make a chain of one, cut your yarn, pull through. And now we have a tube. We have created a tube structure. So from here, you're going to just turn your work onto the right side. 
so that the seam lines of the single crochet stitch are on the inside of the skirt so what we are going to do right now is to create the waistband of the skirt so you're going to grab your yarn and determine which side you want to be the front side or the back side whichever side that you attach your yarn on should be fine so we're going to start from uh, the middle the exact middle of the back panel or front panel so attach your yarn I'm attaching my yarn so we are attaching our yarn on the side where the hearts face as you can see the hearts are facing up so that's where we're going to create our waistband you don't want to create your skirt when the hearts are facing down unless that's what you're going for so you're going to make a chain of three and in each chain five space you're going to place three double crochets but since we already have a chain of three we are going to place two more double crochets to make a total of three double crochets then in each chain three space we are going to place sorry um, in each four double crochet together stitch we are going to place one double crochet in each chain three space you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet in each of the next stitches so in each stitch we are placing one double crochet in each chain three space we place two double crochets in each chain five space we place three double crochets and in each four double crochet together stitch we place one double crochet so go all the way around doing that until you come back to the beginning of the round so this is a chain three space so it will get this is a chain five space so it will get three double crochets the four double crochet together stitch you place one double crochet into the chain three space you place two double crochets and then in each stitch we place one double crochet so go all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning of your round Alright, so I've come to the end of my round and I've just placed two double crochets in the last chain three space. I will place one double crochet in the four double crochet together stitch and then slip stitch on top of the chain three at the beginning of the round. This marks the end of round one of the waistband and it also cleans up the edge. So we're going to go on to round two and we're going to start creating a ribbing for our waistband. So to do that you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to make a front post double crochet into the next stitch so yarn over go under the stitch and push the stitch to the front and work your double crochet as usual so that's a front post and then yarn over for the next stitch you're going to go back and then push the stitch to the back like this and then work your normal double crochet that's a back post double crochet so we are alternating between front post the front post is the one that pushes the stitch to the front and then the back post is the one that pushes the stitch to the back so we are going to do that all the way around alternating between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet And by now you should be uh, you should start to see the ribbing of your skirt as you can see here you can tell the difference between this part and this part so go all the way around and I'll meet you back towards the end of your round
All right, I'm coming to the end of my round two of the waistband and I have a few stitches left. I'm still alternating between the front post and the very last stitch is going to get a back post double crochet. But wherever you are right now, you can end your round with a front post double crochet. It doesn't matter. So after this, you're going to go into the top of the first chain three and you're going to place a slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round. And this has created a ribbing, a ribbing effect around the waistband. All right, so we are going to do the very last round of the waistband, and it's still going to be creating the ribbing uh, of the waistband. So you're going to make a chain of three, and then front post in each front post double crochet. So remember I told you that stitches that are sticking onto the top of the surface those are front post double crochets and they will get front post double crochets and then you're going to place back post double crochet into the back post double crochets so we are just aligning the stitches placing a front post in each front post and a back post in each back post all the way around and i'll meet you back at the end of the round so let me just do a few stitches ahead and show you the effect that it's creating. So this is the effect that's created around the waistband. So go all the way around creating your very last round of the waistband. Or you can go ahead and keep working more and more rounds depending on the thickness of the waistband that you want for your skirt. Okay guys, we've made it all the way around for our third round of the waistband. We are going to make a slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round. Just insert your hook and pull through all. And you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn. At this point, we are done with the general structure of the skirt. We're going to turn our work onto the wrong side and we're going to weave in all our ends using a darning needle. Or if you have any two strands that are at the same point, you can go ahead and just make a knot but um, I think a darning needle is going to do for me at this point so grab your darning needle and weave in all your ends all the tails that you have on the wrong side of your work and then I'll come back when I have a very clean and neat uh, skirt and we go on to the next step So remember to weave in your ends on the wrong side of the skirt, not on the right side. Make sure you're doing this on the wrong side. So that we keep the right side as neat as possible. So just like we have here, we have two tails. So I'll just make a knot. So we have one more end to weave in. Okay, so this is exactly what we have on the wrong side. And when we turn our skirt onto the right side, okay, there's still something here. When we turn our skirt onto the right side, this is what we have. So we are going to grab our hook and yarn and we are going to make a drawstring that's going to make our waistband adjustable. So remember when we were starting this piece, we considered the hip measurement. That means when we get onto the waist, especially the upper waist, most people are a little bit slimmer. In the upper waist than the hips so this skirt should be a little bit big or wide or a bit sagging and we want to eliminate that so to do that you're going to start off with a slip knot and make a very long chain of about 200 chains
All right, I've made my chain of 200. I'm going to make a chain of one and cut my yarn. And this is going to act as a drawstring, just like I had mentioned earlier on. So reintroduce your skirt and get your darning needle and thread the tail of the drawstring, just like this. And we are going to identify the front or the back panel the back side of the skirt both sides should look the same so just pick one to be the front and the other to be the back the same lines are on the side of the skirt just as you can see here so any side can either be the front or the back of the skirt and we are going to start from the exact middle of the panel so my exact middle is in this line with this hat and I'm going to go in and out of every two stitches of the middle round of the waistband which is the second round of the waistband or the second last round of the waistband. So I'm going in and out of every two stitches and I am threading my drawstring using my darning needle, as you can see this. Uh, you're going to go all the way around the skirt doing this. Every two stitches, don't forget that in and out of every two stitches So when you make it all the way around, try to balance the drawstring on both ends so that you have almost the same length on each end of the drawstring. As you can see here, it's not perfectly equal and I prefer it like this because when I make a bow, I prefer to have one string shorter than the other. So this drawstring is going to help us adjust the waistband to either be a little bit tighter or if it's too tight, you can loosen it up depending on the fitting that you're going for for your skirt. So you're going to pull it a little bit to shape the waist or to get that snatched look around your waist. And then you're going to just make a knot or a ribbon-like shape, something like this. And then you're going to cut off the excess yarn on the ends of the uh, the drawstring or you can attach anything beads tassels uh, shells whatever you wish to attach and I'll be leaving the link to a tassel video that you can follow to attach tassels at the end of the drawstring on the screen and yeah that's basically it our skirt is ready to wear and you can match it up with so as I had mentioned earlier on, this is the approach of the drawstring. Now you can go ahead and make one with an elastic band, just like you'll see on the screen. This is the approach of the elastic band. If you don't like the drawstring approach, just uh, eliminate the, the waistband and work around in um, single crochet stitches, but with an elastic band within the single crochet round to hold the skirt so that it can be elastic to wrap around your waist comfortably. So this is how an example looks like. This is uh, a sample from Mia's Closet on Instagram. So after this, your skirt is basically done. You're going to go ahead and weave in all your ends. And that's what we have for today's tutorial. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the written pattern. And then, um, yes, this is me making the top, the matching top for our skirt. And this is the final look for our design.